excited to have you with us. It's the end of the week. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. And tomorrow's the weekend. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And as always, this is Susie. Hey guys. And I'm Vicky. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, you will need your memory, so yourself. You will also need some flip-flops. So go grab some flip-flops and you'll need some, maybe some rolled up pairs of socks. So maybe two or three pairs of rolled up pairs of socks, okay? So we've got our rolled up pairs of socks and yourselves, of course. So we're gonna give you 10 seconds to go grab your stuff, okay? Okay, ready? Yeah. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's up? Excellent, run back, run back, run back, run back, run back with all your stuff, okay? Now I'm gonna hand over to Susie and she's gonna make sure we're nice and warm before we start today. Okay, perfect. On, so we're just going to use the number game to do some warming up. Okay, so number one is run. One, two, three, four, five. Number one My is run. Official number one is run. Oh, sorry. Number two, jumps. Number three, star jump. Okay, so let's get your those. Number one. Number three. Number one. Two. Okay, you ready for number four? Number four, spin around. Okay, number five, go do a high five. Okay? Okay. Well, actually, that's a ten, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. I feel like I'm shooting a basketball yeah. move. I love yeah. it. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay, number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Good job, good job. Okay, let's keep going. Number five. Number five. Number three. Good job. I wish you get number three. Number three. Number three. Number one. Number two. Number five. Number three. Number four. Number four. Number five. Oh! Good job, good job, dear. Okay. I got caught out. I got caught out. Stretch really tall. Cross your arms. Okay, hopefully you guys get it. 
We're going to sit for those. Okay, so you can just go through them once more for me. Head, waving, cross your arms. Awesome. Okay, your next one, do a kick. Okay. Great job, great job. Awesome. Um, make sure that you're copying Vicky if you're unsure. But if you're really super good at this, and see if you can beat Vicky. See if Whoa, you can go faster than Can you go faster than me? Okay. I wonder, I wonder. Yeah. If that loses you in your house, then see if you, who can go the fastest, okay? I reckon you can definitely beat me. Okay. That's a challenge. Are you ready for the next one? Okay. Turn around. She's very quick. Okay. Um, do a tuck jump. Very good, very impressive. Okay, next one. Are you ready? Stick your tongue out. Excellent, fantastic. I now want you for your next one. Are you ready? Okay, you've got to put your arms out like a star. Okay. Hands on your head, wave it, Susie, cross your arms. Turn around, do a kick, beat the hand out, be a star! Nearly. Oh, I think you forgot the tuck jump. Oh no! Such a job, such a job, well done, well done. How do you guys get on? We'd Ooh. love to know, we'd love to know. We would love to know how you got on. Yeah. I think it's time for your turn. My turn. See if you can beat Susie, guys. Okay, the first one. Put your hands up in the air, nice and tall. The second one, just put your hands on your hips. So starting from the start, okay. The third one is wave at me. The fourth one is put your hands on your shoulders. The fifth one, she's very good at this. The fifth one is clap your hands two times behind your back. Very good. The sixth one is take two steps forward. Okay, step back. Okay, very good. How are you guys getting on at home? We'd love to see, we'd love to see what you've come up with. The seventh one and the final one, this is where I'm gonna stop to see if you can get them all, is to turn around two times. Keep on, Susie. Can you remember? First one, what's the first one? How are you guys getting on? Can you remember the first one? Great job. <laughs> She's doing great. She's doing great. Can she remember? I can't remember what you said. Oh, it's okay. Spin around twice. Oh. Never mind, never mind. Now it's time for our next challenge, okay? So as I said at the start, you're gonna need three pairs of socks, okay? So we're gonna use our three pairs of socks and we're gonna do some different challenges with those pairs of socks. So we are gonna put our socks just in a line, okay? You'll find out why in a moment. Okay, let me just move the camera so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so as you can see, Susie's there and I'm here. We've got our three pairs of socks in the middle. We are playing sock. Dodgeball. Come on. Did I hear you say what? Sock dodgeball. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the way that this works is I'm going to say what to do and Susie is going to show you. Okay, so you've got to start at the side. Okay, so hand on the wall. Okay, and when I say go, you've got to run in and get as many socks as you can. Go. So, okay, so she's chosen three pairs of socks. So she's got all the socks. She's got to turn around. She's got to activate her socks on her wall and then she can throw them. So I have to try and dodge. So she hit me twice there, okay? She can only aim at my legs or underarm, okay? Only at the legs. Not heads, not shoulders, no, no. Okay, so I'm gonna reset that. But if Susie was to throw one, she's just gonna demonstrate. If she was to throw one and I was to catch it, I would get a life back, okay? So if I get hit, I lose a life. You start with three lives each, and then if I have to catch it, I get a life back. And it's the first person 
to get out first who wins, okay? We love this game. We do love this game. We are going to do this, and then Susie's going to show us another game. Another game for you guys at home, okay? Get your space, get your sock dodge all set up. Hands on the wall, ready to go. Three, two, one, go! Was that on? Was that? Does that count? I think so. Okay, I think that was one. Okay, now we've got three. Now I've got all the sock balls, okay? So she's got to dodge, or she's got to catch. One life down. So we're both on two lives each. Oh, Ooh. that hit my foot, hit my foot. Okay. No, one life left. Did it hit me? I think it hit, oh. I think it hit. She beat me, she beat me. Okay, now over to you for our next game. Okay, awesome. We're still gonna need the socks. We're still going with our sock challenge. Okay. Okay, are we gonna see between us if we keep these three pairs of socks moving. Okay, okay, okay. All right. On the floor, in the air? In the air. Okay, in the air. Oh my goodness, okay. We'll start with three. This is a big challenge, guys. Okay, we'll start big with Big challenge. One. Okay, we'll start with one. We'll okay, just hit it up. You can use both your hands. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Okay, all right, ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get another one in. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. You start with this one. Oh! oh nearly, nearly. Okay, okay. Right, all right, yeah. You say switch. Okay, okay. You didn't say switch. Oh, I didn't say switch. I said, yeah, then I completely forgot. Oh my goodness. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Switch! One. Oh! oh. Don't worry, don't worry. Keep going, keep going. Okay. okay. One, two. How are you guys three. getting on with this? Switch! One. Oh, I'm not good at this game. So good, so good. I'm not good at this game. Okay, I've got another version for you. Okay. Okay. Now, the way this game works is you have to try and header it and catch it as many times as you can. Okay. Okay. So you gotta go. You gotta header it and catch it. I can't even do this. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. One. Two. Oh, oh. I can't do two. Okay. I'm gonna change the body part. Susie's gonna keep going with her head. I'm going to try and use my shoulder. Oh dear. Okay. Let's try. Maybe you've got a funny pair One, of socks. Two. Maybe. Maybe I've got a jumpy pair of socks. My goodness, they're going everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's, okay, I'll try a new pair of socks. See how you guys are getting on at home. We would love to see how many headers you can do. If you love sock dodgeball, let us know. How can, she's just going to keep going. Can you do it on your shoulder? Could you do it on your knee? Could you do it on your foot? What are the ways that you could use your socks? We would love to see. But now it's time for flip flop dog slash croquet. Yay! Come on! Okay. So how many pairs of socks do we need, Susie? Um, two. Two pairs. Great. We've got two. Yeah. Okay. So you need one pair that you're going to hit, and one pair you're going to be aiming at. Okay. 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 Right. So the aiming at is going to go there. Okay. okay. Ones we're going to hit are going to come down here with us. Okay. I'm just going to show you over here what we're going to do with it. Okay. So one pair of socks going to be on the floor. Okay. And you have to hit it. Okay. Like that with your shoe to try and hit the other pair of socks. Okay. Okay. All right. Where do we have to start, Susie? So we're going to start over there. So start here. Yep. Okay. okay. We're working as a team. Okay. Okay. So, so I need a shoe too. Yep. Okay. okay, so we're hitting the same pair of socks, so you have a go, and then I'll have a go, okay? So okay. set it up, guys, you're home. Okay, okay so hit once. Ooh. We're close, okay, once. we're close. See what it is, okay, once. Hey! hey. Okay, we need that in two. So we need to make it harder job. for ourselves. So we'll put that one back to the start. Okay. And then put it all the way over there now. Whoa, okay, big challenge. So you you start this time, you start this time. Okay. 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 Over to Susie to start. Oh no! Can, I, can you guys even see it? Oh, yeah, I think you can. Goodness! Okay, it's gone in between. It's gone under the chair. Okay. Hit two. Win oh, the kitchen! Oh my goodness! Can she get it? Oh! Ready? Okay. Okay. One, One more shot. shot. One more shot. Hey! Come on! Come on! 
come on, excellent stuff, fantastic, love that game, that is brilliant, okay, get rid of your shoes, your flip flops, your, your softballs, now it's time for our thought, come on, let's have a camera, what are we looking at today, what are we looking at today, it's going to reveal in three, two, one, we are looking at being chosen. Ooh, chosen? Do you know what chosen is? Well, yeah, I guess so like if you're playing sport and um, you play for the team and you're chosen for that team. Exactly, exactly. But we're looking at a different kind of chosen. We're not looking at being chosen for a sports team. I'm going to expand on what we're going to look at today, okay? So in the Bible, in, in Scripture, it says in 1 Samuel 16, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at the way he physically looks, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. He doesn't see as we see. For man looks at the outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. Now, do you just want to unpack that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so God, um, as it said, God um, sees inside of us. He sees what's in our heart. Whereas us guys, we only tend to see the outward appearance. It's really hard for us to see the inside appearance of people. God knows um, our hearts truly, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. So you'd look at someone and you'd be like, oh, they've got brown hair. Or, oh, they've, they've got blonde hair. Or, oh, they're really tall or really small or stuff like that. And that's the things that we see. But God looks at a person and he looks at their heart. Another verse that's just this says about this, about God choosing us and saying that we are chosen. It says, I will praise you because I've been remarkably and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and I know this full well. God chose you, he designed you, he created you and he loves you so much that he sends his son on the cross to die for you because he loves you that much and that's what we've been talking about over Easter. That's what we've been speaking about, how we did the t-shirt the thing, if you haven't seen that, go back and watch oh. that because you will crack up, it's so funny. We got absolutely covered so in messy. so messy. But just remember that, that God chooses you. And what God said to Samuel at the time, he says, do not look at the appearance. Because he's talking to him and he's saying, this is how God sees, this is what God sees. God looks at the heart and just remember that, that God looks at your heart. He looks at your heart, okay? Do you want to just pray for us? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Lord, we thank you um, that you look at our hearts and you don't care about our outward appearance, Lord. Um, thank you that you've chosen um, each and every one of us, Lord. I just pray for everyone um, watching this video, Lord, I pray that you'll bless them and that they would understand that you've chosen them in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Okay, now it's time for our challenge! Drum roll! Whoa. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so we thought, as our thought has just been about the heart, okay, we thought it'd be awesome if you guys could go and do a random act of kindness for someone in your house, okay? It could be anything. It could be um, getting someone breakfast, Okay, it could be doing some of the washing up. Gosh. Okay, it could be laying the table. Yeah. Okay, it could be loads and loads of these. It could be getting someone some water. Okay, there's so many different ways that you could show kindness to someone in your household. So it'd be awesome if you guys could go and do your challenge of a random act of kindness. Absolutely. And send in what you get up to, what you think of, what you could do. Because we would love to hear... And God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see, see you, you soon. Bye.